Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more West Coast for you guys. I said in my last video on Thursday, if you want to see West Coast plays on the weekend, that I would do that. Just hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And I'd really like to continue with some of these alternate playbooks, uh, but you guys got to let me know which one's being used out there. I, I picked the West Coast to start because I know the West Coast is popular, uh, but if you want to see run and gun, run and shoot, whatever, let me know in the comment section. I got plays for days in all of them. And like I said, I also want to make sure in Madden 21 that I'm going to make uh, some alternate playbook ebooks for you guys. So I'll ask again when that game comes out, but let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. Also hit the like button if you want me to continue with, with alternate playbooks. Today, Today I'm going to be focusing on uh, the doubles north formation. I'm just going to show some run plays today, but this is a really good passing playbook, uh, a passing formation rather. So hit the like button if you want to see the passing plays out of this tomorrow on Sunday, uh, which I would really like to do. Uh, some home run plays, some really hard to stop plays. This is a great formation. It's one of my favorite formations uh, that they really toned down. As far as I know, it might be in one other playbook. Uh, the double south is in like a ton of playbooks, but the doubles north is hard to find. Uh, some of the some of the run plays I'm going to show you today are not in any other playbook, and that includes the one I'm going to show you first, which is the halfback pitch. Now this play should look a little familiar. Uh, it's very similar to a play that was out of the gun tight a couple years ago that was destroying Madden. Uh, that play, the only difference between that and this is this receiver here was right next to the tight end. I mean that's really the only difference. Uh, you know that play they patched that with a quickness. Uh, and it's still, you know, you can't, even, like I said, you, that, that play I think is gone. This play here you can't even find anywhere except for in the West Coast, which means it's not even available in custom. Uh, but there's really no need for adjustments. You can run this play just like this, and it's going to be very strong. You can see right here, uh, we're having success right off the bat. Not really much that I did right there other than just run the play. And you can see I got about 15, 20 yards. Now, if there is an adjustment that I would make, as long as my opponent's not running a man coverage, you can motion this guy across. Motion snap him and give yourself another blocker. Now I got another another lead blocker out here, and you can see the results pretty similar. But a lot of times that lead blocker can really come in handy. If you know that your opponent is running a lot of man coverages, say they run a lot of man blitzes and stuff like that, you can flip the play the other way, motion this guy across, and the, the cornerback will follow, leaving him bare to that side. Now you can see obviously this is not a man coverage, so it doesn't help me out. But ultimately, you know, you can have big runs if you know they're running that man coverage. You can make that motion. And still have that success so like i said right here best best way to play this is motion this guy across i use the motion snap but it really doesn't matter you can let him get set because some of the passing plays that i'm going to show are going to have the exact same motion so you can really confuse your opponent what they're going to see so right here i mean that blocking really didn't set up i had two guys essentially blocking one guy or i'd have, I'd have been sprung so we're going to do that one more time like i said i'm surprised i haven't hit any home runs yet because ultimately this is a home run play so we're just going to go ahead and run it one more time in the, in the hopes that the blocking sets up the way it should sure looks like it is as you can see right here this is just leading me to daylight and i didn't quite have the speed to get going but that's that's easy touchdowns all game so like i said easiest way to do this if it's a man coverage leave it alone just run it if it's a zone coverage motion this guy across because if it's a zone coverage you'll get a blocking advantage if it's a man coverage you will not uh, the motion block is up to you. You can do that either way, however you want. Uh, but you can see, I mean, the consistency of this play as we finally break what should be a touchdown. Um, it's just, it's just overpowered and over and completely consistent. You should run this. This should be the the, the number one run play that you use if you run this playbook. Now there are two more good plays out of this. Uh, one of which is a trick play. And that's the jet sweep. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show that real quick. I got my speed guy in the slot. This play right here, man, it should be used in conjunction with these other two plays. The halfback ace power is the other really good run play um, that I would use quite a bit in this. Uh, so luckily it was in the uh, adjustments and I could basically show both these. Like I said, hit the like button. We'll come back Sunday uh, for these passing plays. Some really good passing plays here. But uh, ultimately this this run play here, this 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 sweep uh, from the slot receiver, that's going to be best if you if you look to the right and there's no uh, there's nobody in the gap between Kittle and Samuel. That's going to be when it's best time to run this. So let's just go ahead, like right here. This is a pretty decent time uh, to hit him with this outside run. Sometimes you just got to take it a little bit wide because, you know, sometimes that defensive end can linger on the tight end. But ultimately, like I said, right here, this is perfect. They're trying to hit you with a blitz. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing on that side. Um, I don't want to spring it, stretch it out this much. Uh, I'd like to take it up shorter uh, up the alley there because to me, the quicker that you turn up, the less time that it takes for the sideline to become a problem. You can see right here. I mean, that once the sideline becomes an issue, the sideline won't miss a tackle. 
But if I have my choice, I would like to go right in between where Kittle and Samuel are. Now, like I said, there is another uh, run play in the audibles. That's a halfback ace power. This is probably best used uh, as like your inside zone or um, your inside run. I typically want to run it to the other side. Not because I have an advantage by any means, but because I really want to have attacks to all sides of the field. This is pretty similar to the quick pitch. So if I run it here, it's just going to get my opponent to the point where they're flowing constantly to that same side. And I don't want them flowing to that side. I want them to think that the ball can go anywhere. So I'm typically going to run it this way just so I can give them something to look at the other way. Even if it's not the most dominant run. Even if it's just a couple yards every time, I want them thinking about multiple things. That's why this is a scheme. So if I have to, and if the hole's not necessarily there... I'm going to still run it this way just because I want them looking at that direction. I want, to, I want to keep them off balance. I don't want to constantly run every play in the same direction. So you have your quick pitch, which is your run to the left. You have your uh, wide receiver uh, you know, end around, which is your run play to the right. They're both obviously uh, dramatic outside runs. Then you have your inside run, which is the ace power. Now, if you do the same motion, it's going to make the play a pretty good play. It's going to, it's going to have a very similar effect to it that uh, the other play does. So like I said, you can still do that. But ultimately, um, you know, you have runs to all over the field now. You have a, a wide right, a wide run to the left, a wide run to the right. Then you have an inside run uh, to both directions. So like I said, you have a full attack here uh, to keep your opponent on their toes. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see part two tomorrow of the passing plays, like I said, I got some home runs out of this. Let me know in the comments section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.